club. Now, I know that the micro bit is brand new to you, so I wanted to introduce it to you. We have them in boxes of 10 as a club pack, but I do happen to have a single pack here to go with. So in this pack, we have a USB cord. We will not be needing that. We have a battery pack and also two AAA batteries that go inside of it. You're gonna need that, and you're also gonna need something called a micro bit. And inside this protective sleeve, and we do wanna keep these nice so that our micro bits are protected when we put them away. So I'm gonna slip this out really easy. And on this micro bit, there's gonna be a couple of things. Now I'm gonna get my document camera to focus in on this because it does have a little bit of a hard time. So on the front of this, you're gonna see a couple of things. You're gonna see buttons. You're gonna see button A and button B. You're also going to see what they refer to as pins. We will use those in later projects. And this is also a button right here. We also on the back have a couple of different things. This computer printed circuit board has a couple of different sensors in there we will talk about later on hopefully but in the meantime what you need to know to get started is that there are a couple of things up here this is where you would plug in your computer so that's where that usb cord comes in we will not be needing this we also have a reset button so this is also our power button and this button does click when you push on it this one is just for power and to make sure that the micro bit gets the instructions it needs and we also have this little battery insert. So if you take a look at that battery insert, there is a little notch right here at the top. And it just so happens at the end of this cord, there is also a little notch that matches it. So I'm just gonna take this cord and plug it in. Now, I will tell you that it's really easy to plug it in. It is not so easy to get them out later. So you might have to give it a really, really nice tug when you go to do that. So I'm going to force it but you can see I grabbed it right here by the edges of the board and just wiggled it until it came out it is very stubborn so it will definitely take a little bit of juice so I'm gonna plug that right back in and you're gonna notice when you guys first start with these your micro bit might turn on and tell you hello mine has already been programmed once so I'm actually going to go ahead and I'm going to rewrite this program that's already on there in order to do that though most instructions will have you take those micro bits and plug them into the computer however we have ipads so what i'm going to do is i'm going to record this to show you exactly how to make this talk to this with no cords so i'm going to take this right here and i'm going to go into an app that you guys have and you might see me in the reflection that's perfectly fine and i am screen recording so i can overlay this later because the screen does not always show up so i will put another screen right here on top later so right now what i'm doing is I'm gonna go and open up the Microbit app. So right here, I've already installed it on most iPads. If not, it is in your self-service that you can find it. You can see it wiggling on my screen. So I'm gonna take that little app and I'm going to go ahead <clears throat> and open her up. So once you're in there, if you have been coding, then the next step is to go to create code. So I'm gonna hit this button right here. Now, if I just need to connect my iPad to my micro bit, I'm just gonna hit manage connections. This is gonna do the same thing through either the app or the website. So I'm not gonna worry too much about that. The very first thing I'm gonna do right now, this one is connected, so I'm gonna trash app. So it has no micro bit selected. It has, we're gonna start brand new. So I'm gonna hit pair micro bit. And if you go right through the app, this is exactly how you do it. Now this one says you can hit reset three times. And I don't know if it actually went into Bluetooth mode. I can probably tell it doesn't because it does not have that Bluetooth signal. And you can see that right there on that left little square, it should have a little Bluetooth mark. So it does not have the Bluetooth mark. So let's show another way. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna hold A and B buttons and I'm also gonna hold the reset button at the same time, just like that. And there we go. And so in order to do that, I've also got this little symbol on there. Once I get that little symbol on there, that's going to be what tells me to do that. So once again, if you're going to do this on this way, you're going to A, B, and reset. So you need three fingers all at the same time. The square will kind of pan through. It gives it a little Bluetooth signal. And then you'll have this little mountain pic picture on there. Every mountain picture will be slightly different. So that is on purpose. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hit next. And now it wants to show the pattern. So right now my pattern has two lights, five lights, two, two, five. So two lights, five lights, two, two, five. And that is going to give it that signal to tell it that this is the micro bit I want you to pair with. So now they match like matching game. So I'm gonna hit next. 
So now it wants to know, hey, if you're asked to pair it, go ahead and hit the A button, but let's see if it does that. So let's hit next. So now what it's doing is it's connecting my micro bit. So that little load bar is basically telling it, hey, my iPad is talking to my micro bit. And it's waiting for it. And pairing successful. So now we know that the iPad and the micro bit are talking to each other through Bluetooth, just like your headphones were, would if you had earbuds. But if you are coding, let's say you are on the create code on the make code app. So we're on the website. So this is where you can sign it. Now I have already signed into make code. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit the home button. So I see what you guys see. Eh, I don't need it. Home. All right. So this is where I have a test. So I, let's say I've already been coding. I've already been working on this project. I have this little test square right here. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to click on the open square or I can open new project, but I'm going to hit the test one. And this has saved my code from last time. So what it shows is it shows the LEDs and shows icon. I'm going to change that. I'm going to have it go to input, which means I have to do something in order for the micro bit to do something else. So I'm going to go on button A. So if it hits button A, I'm going to have it show. Let's see. I'm going to do. Oh, I know. I'm going to do a square. It's going to be a square. So if I hit button A, whoops. So now what I'm telling it is on button A, I want you to show a square. It's going to show this pattern on my button. I'm also going to put in on button B, I'm going to have it show a heart because I already have a heart pre-programmed. So I've got to change that to button and B. So now this is what I have coded. I'm going to go ahead and delete these because I don't need them. So now these are the instructions I'm going to send it. When I press button A, it's going to do this. And when I press button B, it's going to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send that instruction to it. So I'm going to hit download. And that's going to be what tells it what to do. I might have to re... Yes, I might have to reset my micro bit. That's perfectly fine. So I'm going to get go ahead and show another way. Again, I'm going to hit these three buttons. I'm going to hit A, B, and reset. I'm going to let that square load. It's going to show me the Bluetooth signal. We're going to hit continue. That's the pattern. So we're going to hit yes. And now it's going to send the code to the micro bit. So it was just double checking to make sure it was talking to the right micro bit. And I'm not going to walk away during that. So the code was sent successfully. So I'm going to hit OK. So now what I do is I have sent instructions to this micro bit. So if I press button A, it shows me that square. If I press button B, now it shows me the heart. So either way, and I know it looks like it's glittering on video, but it's really not in real life. It's solid. So on button A, it goes to square. On button B, it goes to heart. It's doing that because I told it to do that. I gave it directions. So as you're working with the micro bit, that's how you pair it up and that's how you send it simple directions. We will work with these throughout the projects. In order to turn these off, you should be able to hold the reset button for a couple of seconds or just to be able to click it and those lights should turn off. And if they turn off, that usually means he's turned off. But I also want you guys to make sure that you are unplugging the battery packs. And when you put these away, please make sure you put these back into the sleeve so that we can protect our micro bits for a long time to come. If you have any questions or need any help, please see me and I will do my best to help you. All right. Thank you, guys.